Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of our campaign in Factorio, a rocket per patron. We've launched uh, zero rockets. It's been 10,217 seconds since the last counter reset. It's not incrementing though, so... Uh, I don't know what that does. Anyway, um, I'm going to get rid of my iron ore that I had on hand. Get rid of some coal. Got a little bit of crushed stone. We can throw it into any one of these things. We probably have some slag. Got some crushed saffron I can get rid of. Got some crushed javolite. Some actual javolite. Got saffrite ore. I've got a few turrets and ammo. I mean, it's not bad to have a couple of those on hand. I think the next time I go around doing walls and turrets and stuff, I definitely want to have uh, Mark II turrets. Let's put the radars in there. I'll throw a little bit more steel into there, get some more furnaces going. I'm going to get rid of the wall if I can. Looks like we actually have a full thing of wall already. I want more wall though. So, we'll get that going. Got some Bobmonium in my inventory. Bobmonium goes here. Okay, um... How's power look? Got 28 steam engines at 841 kilowatts. That's 23.5 megawatts. So we're still within 5 megawatts of power capacity. A long time ago, I think I tried researching solar, but then got distracted by something else. I don't care about gold processing, so let's go for solar instead. Now that we have a fair bit of iron coming in, hopefully we'll see some science happening again. Science is not very prioritized in my setup. In fact, it's not prioritized, like, at all. We could fix that slightly by doing some, like, stupid long-handed inserters here. Seems like a great idea to me. Let's do, uh... You're gonna grab from way the hell over there. <laughs> did you? Did you? Did you, dummy? You picked up tin. That's not right. Put it back. <laughs> they look so goofy. Those graphics were not designed to be extended that long. <laughs> anyway, that'll prioritize. Red signs. So we'll actually get some of the signs done now. We could do another one of these setups. I'd like to move to solar instead. I want to get Steerotite online. I want to get, um... I want Okay, no, here's what I want to work on. I want to work on the next tier of circuitry. Otherwise, we're going to fall behind. I don't even think we have that research yet, do we? Darn it. What the hell do I need next? Hydro refining. Uh, well, that's useful. It's going to be necessary in order to get some of the more advanced doors, but... Um... I'll just do lab research speed. We've got these kinds of circuits. Whoa! Yeah, no, I don't want that many. In fact, I don't really want to have a full chest of these things. I think I want to restrict a lot of these down so that I can just... Keep the factory from getting too crazy. Transport belt, though, can go just... can be just fine. Okay, I want to stock up on basics. I want to set up some production for my own personal use. Is this... are these even necessary anymore? No, they're not. Could just use scrapper bots if we wanted to just kill all this stuff, but I'd rather work towards the next type of, uh, of circuitry. So let's just, let's just search for, like, uh, electronic. Electronics, solar energy, electric power poles. 
Advanced Electronics. This is what I'm looking for. So for Advanced Electronics, we've got to do Plastics next. Okay. Uh, after Lab Research, then... I want you to do... Electronics. Or was it... It was called Advanced Electronics. So do that next, please. Can I get a better tool yet? I can make a brass axe if I make brass. Brass is zinc plate. Zinc plate is made via zinc ore, which I have none of yet. Okay, um, haven't done a lick of stuff with oil. I could try. I could try to make ferric chloride solutions since I know I'm going to need it. Hydrogen chloride gas, iron ore, we can make those things. So we've already got iron ore. Hydrogen chloride. Hydrogen chloride. To make hydrogen chloride gas. Saline water electrolysis will make us some chlorine, some hydrogen, and some sodium hydroxide. Hydrogen chloride gas just comes from mixing together the hydrogen and the chloride, chlorine. Therefore, we need to go do saline water electrolysis to make hydrogen chloride gas. Let's go do that. I've already forgotten what type of machine it's done in. So saline water electrolysis is made in... I wish that instead of saying made in some stupid little image that I have no idea what the hell that means, it's just said the name of the machine, like write it out in text. Because if I try to hover over it, the tooltip goes away. Just write it out so that I can just find it, you know? It's like, how, how am I supposed to find the damn thing if I don't recognize the symbol? Besides, Angel, all of your things look the same. They all look the exact same to me. I think it's made in an electrolyzer Mark II. But it's probably makeable in these kinds of electro electrolyzers as well. Is that not true? We can do salt water electrolysis. This is a, a Bob's thing, I think. Requires you to use salt. Which is just taking another step, right? You just take regular water, mix... Wait, what? That's not how you, how you do it. How do you get salt? Wait, what? Sodium hydroxide is made from 20x sodium hydroxide? <laughs> what? <laughs> that doesn't make sense. So you're telling me for the small price of 20 sodium hydroxide, I can have one sodium hydroxide. Nice. Now I'm looking for salt. I want to make salt. Forget it. I'm going to do it the, the other way. It's... They've been poking around down here. Let's just check ammo supply. Looks like the sniper turrets are still taking care of it. They're not actually really running out of... running any risk of running out of ammo. You have stopped making this because you have no sulfur. You have no sulfur because... You have no hydrogen gas. You have no hydrogen gas because... There's too much oxygen gas because there's too much... Sulfuric acid? Because I disconnected the pipe. Crap. I knew, I knew that. I knew I did that. I totally remember that happening, I swear. So you're gonna get back to work, which means that the... Hydrogen gas production can continue. Let's try out this, uh, this Angel's two-way splitter. I'm assuming a two-way fluid splitter can work with not fluids, I hope. Let's find out.
Doesn't seem to require a recipe. Yes, it's working with gases. Cool. Stops working if one output is blocked. That's not good. So you're saying that if you don't use enough, that these won't get any? So you're saying that this thing is completely crap. I can make a s an incredibly s superior system just by using a couple little bits of wire. Okay. What's the I don't understand. I'm confused now. What's the point? Of course, mine, my system requires a pump. A small pump, which requires an electric engine unit, which I have no concept of how to make with this mod pack. I don't even have the ability to make them yet. Darn it. Forget it. I'm not going to worry about it. You know what? Just just do your best. Fight for it. Whoever whoever fights the hardest wins. Okay, I was over here for a reason. I was going to do something with Angel's electrolyzers. I was going to take not the pure feet. I was going to take the saline water. And I was going to do saline water electrolysis. This is sodium hydroxide. I want to try that recipe that was talking about sodium hydroxide and just see. It says sodium hydroxide, but I, th I think that's salt. I think it's going to, if I take all this sodium hydroxide and mix it together, I'm going to get actual salt. Anyway, I mean, that's the only logical thing that I can come up with. Next step was... It was to take the... I need hydrogen chloride gas. So in equal parts, of course, these things don't produce equally, do they? No, they produce 50% more hydrogen than they do chlorine. So we'll have to bleed off some of the hydrogen back into this hydrogen system. So let's do that. that hydrogen's connected. Um, before it can get there then, I want to grab... And how much of this stuff are you actually producing? So we're not gonna, we're not gonna worry about the hydrogen, we're gonna worry about the, the chlorine. You're gonna produce me four chlorine every two seconds with a crafting speed of 1.5 times two machines, that's six chlorine per second. And I need to make hydrogen chlorine chlorine gas, I can make it in some funky looking angel's machine. Looks like this. An advanced chemical plant. Jesus, is it big. I'm trying to make this.
Best case scenario, you're going to consume five of that chlorine gas every two seconds with a crafting speed of 1.5. That's 3.75. So I'm producing six. And only one of these machines only consumes 3.75. What if instead I just didn't use this uh, contraption, this monstrosity of a building, and tried using this one? It's going to be the same math, right? It's going to be uh, five every two seconds. But you have a crafting speed of 1.25, so it's only... So can you, this will consume 3.125. I could use two of these, and that's almost a perfect ratio. Now let's compare power and pollution and stuff. It's the exact same set of machines I compared before, isn't it? Yeah, you gain 20% more for more power and more pollution. It's not worth it. I'm not going to use your machines, Angel. I'm sorry. Your machines don't make sense to me. Even regular old Mark I chemical plants are more efficient. Okay, let's try, though, I think there is a valve that I want. An overflow valve, that's the thing I need. Please don't tell me this is anything other than a one by one. Thank God. Lost flow of input side is above 80%. Is that, there's like an arrow-ish that way, is that? Where did it go? There it is. Okay. You have no hydrogen. Because there's too much of the green stuff. Because all of it got bled off. So I'm going to... Try out the flare stack for a moment. Wherever the hell that thing went. Flare stack. This is totally gonna work, right? We're just gonna burn it! For a moment. Alright, so to confirm, chlorine gas is made less. So that problem shouldn't happen again. And yes, this is flowing in the correct direction. Only if this gets full is it going that way. The whole thing just shut down because there's no output for the chlorine gas. The chlorine gas, then... Miraculously is going to somehow manage to go underneath all of this water. <laughs> over to... Some distant location. Like this. Where we will then make ferric chloride solution in a not Angel's Advanced Chemical Plant because they're silly. In a regular chemical plant because they're not silly. And we're going to make our ferric chloride solution into a storage tank. via iron ore. I need iron ore.
I do want a fair bit. I want to make sure that we have a lot of ferric chloride solution built up over time down here. Okay, so that's going to be ferric chloride solution. I'm assuming that something is bopping, blocking the production of these things somewhere along the way. No, this machine's still running. Still got oil residuals. Multi-phase oil's not capped out, that's cool. Crude oil's not capped out. Raw gas, capped out. So this machine's blocked. Is it? Wait, is it raw? I keep forgetting. Raw gas and natural gas. Those are two different things, right? Pretty sure. Hydrogen chloride gas. Now there's multiple ways, I think, to barrel up the hydrogen chloride gas. Yeah, fill hydrogen chloride gas barrel. So we can put 25 hydrogen chloride gas into a barrel, which is made in some sort of special... pump? Is it this pump here? Yes, I think so. Tooltips would be nice. Um, or we can go the Bob's Mods route, which is completely different, and we can do this one. Bottled Hydrogen Chloride Gas. We can put it into gas bottles. This only holds five, so it's smaller units. And this is made using the air compressor pumps from Bob's Mods. Now, I don't know which one's better, but if I had to guess, I would say, based on what I've seen so far, that uh, well, let's let's just test it real quick. But I'm I'm 90% sure that it's going to be more reasonable to use Bob's ones than it is to use Angel's because Angel's always seems to be more pollution and more power. So if we used and bigger, look at this thing. This thing is a what is this a two by th no? It's a three by three freaking entity. 3x3 three three versus a 2x2. Two two. Pollution 0.2 versus pollution 0.5. Okay, so already we're at two and a half times as much pollution. Crafting speed of 2 versus a crafting speed of 1. So it's, it is faster. Energy consumption is tiny, tiny bit higher. That's okay, but... Um... So let's just say we were doing bottled hydrogen chloride versus the... Jesus, this menu. Uh, bottled fill hydrogen chloride gas barrel. Now there's something to be said that this thing would have to run five times in order to get the same amount of compression on the hydrogen chloride gas. And I don't know how high the barrels of hydrogen chloride stack up to. So there might be a disparity between like how much... Like, I'm, I'm already thinking ahead, like, how much could a robot carry? Obviously, a robot could carry more barrels than he could carry gas bottles because of reasons. And so, it would be more efficient to use barrels of hydrogen chloride if you're using robots. And it would also give you more compression, more actual throughput on a belt if you were belting barrels of hydrogen chloride gas. Why you would want to do that, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud about it. Um... There's the other advantage in that empty barrels are used for vanilla oil, which ceases to exist in this game apparently because it's all multi-phase and natural gas and blah blah blah. But um, the only time I ever remember using these gas bottles and empty canisters and stuff is for Bob's compression, Bob's gases. And I think canisters... Yeah, canisters were used for ferric chloride. Can I barrel up ferric chloride? No. Oh, that makes me so sad. Why is that not a recipe in here? Why can I not Why why won't you let me? I'm I'm I don't I don't believe it. I I'm I'm going to just look through here every single one of them. Ferric chloride's gonna be in here somewhere so that I don't have to make those stupid canisters. It's gonna be in here. It's not, it's not in here. So 
So apparently we can barrel up everything except for ferric chloride, and we're gonna have to make those darn canisters. Canisters are also used for liquid fuel. Liquid fuel goes into a liquid fuel canister, which is a very, very compressed 150 megajoules of fuel. Uh, fuel value. But, I think when you use those, it actually consumes the barrel itself. You don't get the, uh... Wait, hold on. This is filling the canister. Maybe I don't have the recipe for it yet. Possible. I don't know what to tell you. I don't know what to tell you, but, uh... Apparently we are gonna have to make ferric chloride junk. Just sort of annoying. But we can do it. We've got the resources. Uh, no, we don't. We have. We need plastic. How do we make plastic? Plastic is made using pro propane. Propane. I'm pretty sure propane spelled with an A. P R O P A N E. But propane gas sounds great. We're gonna make some propane gas. How do we make propane? Synthesis propene. Purified water with methanol. Catalytic cracking naphtha to propene. Naphtha, that's heavy oil. Plus purified water, plus a red metal catalyst. What in the hell is a red metal... Red metal catalyst? I need a metal catalyst carrier. And then, iron and copper ore. Okay, so iron plus ore equals the red metal catalyst. I take the red metal catalyst, and I can use that to turn the naphtha into propene, pro 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 propene. And then once I have the propene, I can turn that into plants. Got it. Cool. All right. I'm going to take a break here. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. At least a little bit. All right. I'll see you again in the next episode, though. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon.